We're also increasing testing. Should we have done more testing earlier? Yes, but we're doing more now. President Biden says his administration is successfully playing catch up on testing as the Omicron wave sweeps the country. The White House launched just yesterday the new website covidtest.gov that allows every household to order four free at home test kits, though there's already been some issues. It's kind of frustrating that I can't order it because I live in a multiple dwelling apartment building. Chinatown resident Carlin Chan was among those who got this error message saying you could not place multiple orders at the same building, which is particularly problematic in places like New York. Everything we can, learning and adapting as fast as we can, and preparing for a future beyond the pandemic. On inflation, Biden says his administration is working to improve supply chains. He also says part of this is the economy coming back from the pandemic, citing low employment numbers. Plus, he says his social spending bill that includes child care and elder care dollars will help with no new taxes for most Americans. The bottom line, if price increases are what you're worried about, the best answer is my Build Back Better plan. But that legislation is stalled. After passing COVID relief and a bipartisan infrastructure package, President Biden's current plans are not moving through the Senate. He's getting no Republican support for that social spending and climate priority deal. And moderates in his own party, like Democratic Senators Joe Manchin and Kirsten Sinema, are refusing to change Senate rules to move along voting rights legislation. But Biden says he won't back down or scale down his plans yet. I'm not asking for castles in the sky. I'm asking for practical things the American people have been asking for for a long time.